Wow, it's definitely been a long, long time since I've seen the WWE title been put on the line in a Royal Rumble match. Not since I remember, Flair was winning it back in the days. So it's been a long, long time. So either way, this ain't going to be good news for Roman Reigns' this title reign because he's probably going to get screwed or Triple H will probably enter number 30 and end up winning it. So we'll see. But it's very interesting this is going down. Anybody can win it now here in the Royal Rumble. Heck, it could be Bray Wyatt that could win it. But I'd say if it's, if, if it's Brock Lesnar enters, he's going to suplex 2,900 people and possibly walk off that title. Because I think he'll probably come down to Roman Reigns and Brock Lesnar. Then here comes Triple H to screw Roman Reigns. And Brock Lesnar will be the new heavyweight champion. Watch and see. It's going to happen. Either way, Triple H is going to screw Roman Reigns or Roman Reigns will win the Royal Rumble. But... That's going to be very tough. He's going to have to Superman punch 29 other people to get to the end of that, including his best friend, probably Dean Ambrose, probably being it. So this is very interesting, to tell you the truth. They need something to spice it up. I guess Vince is not losing his mind after all. And he still can take a punch, that's for sure. He's a seven-year-old guy, and he can take one heck of a punch, and I can be respect him for that. Holy crap. I don't think I want to take a punch when I'm 70 years old like that. He's still getting beat up by wrestlers. He's pretty cool. So we'll see what goes down at the Royal Rumble. It should be very interesting now. Anybody can win it.